Hi, I'm Janice and I hope you're doing well. I've been debating whether to make this video because to be honest, I'm still kind of embarrassed about it. It was an extremely silly mistake and I haven't told any of my friends or any of my family because I am still embarrassed and because I know that they're gonna give me so much crap about it. I experienced a temporary but complete loss of common sense. I like to think it's temporary, others might beg to differ. But I decided to make a video about it anyway because there might be travellers going to Singapore who wants to visit the Jewel Changi who might make the same mistake I did. I highly doubt it though. First part of this video will be about my mistake and the second part of this video is me trying to just make the most of the situation. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, it is currently 7am here in Singapore and we're now heading to Singapore Airport. My flight isn't actually until 1 p.m. But the reason I'm heading there so early is because I haven't had a chance to check out Changi Airport yet. And so the reason I'm heading there so early is because I can check it out. So yeah, we're taking the MRT to the airport and welcome to this day of travel day. currently in Chinatown. It's on the blue light. Oh, there it is. So we need to go all the way. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. We need to go all the way here. And then it's just, oh, it's just one stop to Changi. waiting for my train from Expo to get to Changi Airport. Um, I'm not actually sure how, how long that's going to take. I literally just missed the other train. Like as I got onto the platform the train just left. I'm excited to see, I'm excited to explore the place. I think it'll be really really cool. Yeah. Okay my bag can't exceed 20 kilos. Let's see how much it weighs. Oh my gosh, how does it weigh 19 already? Jesus. Okay, all right, I've just passed um, the, the immigration security checks. I'm officially in the airport. The My boarding time is 12.20. The current time is 9.05. Let's go explore this airport. Hi, um, how do you actually get to okay I just this trip has been this Singapore trip I just hasn't really gone my way first I was sick for like two days and I'm, I'm just I'm actually really embarrassed to say it because I am so stupid but you know what, I'm just gonna say it anyway and then decide later whether I'm gonna keep this in the edit. So I wanted, to, really, really wanted to go to the Jewel Changi Airport. Um, and for some reason in my dumbass mind, I assumed that I could still get there after I passed immigration. I assumed that, you know, there was like a sky train or something that I can take to get to Jewel Changi. And then I just asked the information desk and I was like, how do I actually get to Jewel Changi? They're like, oh, well, you need to, you know, you need to get through immigration first. And I'm like, I just got through immigration. And they were like, oh, you just came in. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I just came in. And they're like, you can't actually go back out. And I'm like, what? what, what? And they're like, yeah, you can't actually get, get out. Sorry, you, you, there's no way you can visit um, Jewel Changi. And I'm like... What? Make sure you visit that airport before you actually pass immigration. Because if you're stupid like me, now you can't see the newest addition to the best airport in the world. <sighs> we have three hours in Chang Airport. Let's see how we can make the most of those three hours.
All right, we are now en route up to the entertainment deck. There's a gym, but I don't think it's for people like me. I think like you have to be special. Yeah, see, I knew it. You have to have access to a lounge in order to use the gym. Of course you do. There's no console. How am I supposed to play Xbox Live? I don't know. Well, I don't know how to use the gaming room at all. So this is the sunflower garden that we've just entered. It is in the outdoors. It's actually quite hot and humid today, but it is very nice. You can see, as the name would suggest, They also have a movie theater. I just checked out the um, the cinema in the in the Changi Airport, and most of it's just people sleeping. <laughs> there was the one guy that was sleeping so well he was snoring over the audio <laughs> of the movie. Hey, do you want to try some of Lucas' name? It's Aubrey. Oh, can I try? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's Aubrey. Which one is what? Uh, so this one is this one. Yeah, mixed nut. Sweet peanut. Yeah. Broad beans? <laughs> yes. And Oh, okay. I'll try the broad beans. Thank you so uh, much. Okay. okay, so I just got myself some broad beans. They were free, so why not? I know that we can't actually go to Jewel Changi, but if we take the right sky trains, we can actually go through it, which is exactly what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, I'm currently at Terminal 3. We're just gonna go and check out what's what's here at Terminal 3, see if there's anything cool to do. It's a lot more quieter than the previous terminal that I was in. Um, not too sure why, but do you know what? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> My facts this encounter has over 1,000 tropical butterflies with as many as 40 different species of butterflies just within this encounter there's also a six meter high waterfall and um, this is the world's first butterfly garden in an airport There is also, of course, a koi pond. Okay, they also have a Singapore food street within an airport. We're gonna go check it out right now. It's up on level two, and it seems like, I'm not gonna make any assumptions. Let's just go up and check it out. But it looks pretty cool, it's like, it's like a, it's like a miniature version of like a hawker center street type thing. So to actually make purchases on the Singapore food street, you need to buy a card and then put value on the card and then buy anything you want using that card. Any remaining value, you can go back to the counter to get your cash out. I don't really understand what the purpose of that is. I guess it's just easier so no one needs to like um, exchange cash. So I just got my char siu noodle for $5.50 which if you ask me is a pretty damn good bargain. 
this is what it looks like. It comes with, of course, barbecued pork, the noodles that I saw that he tossed in like sauce, and then a bit of soup. Okay, without further ado, let's actually try like the barbecue pork. It's definitely not as good as the ones I've had at hawker stands, but you know, it, it, it does the job. It fills you up. I do like the noodles though. It's very, very springy. It's very, very elastic. -y. It's very bouncy. It tastes like water plus salt. <laughs> I probably won't be drinking the rest of that. Terminal 2 had the sunflower garden. Terminal 3 had the butterfly garden. Let's go check out what Terminal 1 has to offer. I think I'm heading towards the SkyTrain right now, but who knows? I th always think I'm doing something right, but then I end up making a mistake anyway, so I'm just gonna have no expectations at all. Uh, turns out I am right for once. I've just arrived in Terminal 1. I've asked for where the Singapore airport pool is but I got distracted by the cactus garden so of course we have to go check it out Ooh, I think I see where the cactus no that's the smoking area wait is that the smoking area or the cactus garden both it's both do a nice little round and then let's get to the pool because there is an airport pool Okay, let's literally just do a round and then get out. I'm kind of a little bit bored now. The pool isn't small, but it isn't the biggest pool ever. Entry into this pool, I was told, is 17 Singaporean dollars for three hours. See, I entered and no one asked me to pay any money but I think once I get into the pool they'll come over and ask. So I think it would be great to like have that option to swim and like move around and like take a shower if you're in between two pretty long legs of flights. I'm not going to be swimming today but it is really really hot and that would be really really nice. We are back in Terminal 2 and my flight boards in 30 minutes no less than that 25 so i'm gonna see if i have a chance to get a coffee first and then make my way to the gate all right and that is it here's the photo that i got I hope you got some entertainment value out of this video. I will have to go back to Singapore again because I really do want to visit the Jewel Changi, but this time I will not make the same mistake again. I mean, if I do, like, I'm just a lost cause. Don't even, don't even bother saving me. If you're still watching, thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification button if you haven't already. New videos every Tuesdays and Fridays, so check them out if you have time. Have an amazing weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!